Welcome to Ultimate RC Events and the MGM controllers push the limits catamaran. This is the first video of a series of videos to try and get this boat to 150 kilometers an hour. The aim of the video is to share everything. We've realized that on the internet, there's not a lot on boats this size. They're quite expensive and people don't share most of the data or don't have the time, but we're in the business to do that. So we're gonna share all the data logging the experience you'll see us if we flip it we'll see us if we do mistakes we'll tell you everything uh this quick little video just shows you we made a trailer for it in a truck uh ultimate rc events is an events business so we are in the nature of trying to show things off and 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 capture attention of people hopefully this video helps some some of you out there enjoy okay here it goes we're going to hit the water for the very first time uh, you can get an idea of the size of the boat with the two boys there putting it in this is literally the first time it touches water so they're going to put it in the water i want to see how it sits which i'm pretty confident will sit quite well slightly back heavy um and then they're going to take the canopy off and look for leaks uh being the first time in the water we better check if there's any leaks and unfortunately there was i hadn't uh got the brass tubes um drive shaft brass tubes connected or sealed, sorry, in the back of the uh, transom properly. I'll point that out in a minute. But um, they were minor leaks. We still decided to run the boat. Uh, it wasn't going to be a major issue going forward. So that's Ethan now pointing it out. There they are, there's the leaks. And uh, they're about to pull that boat back out. You won't see the leaks here, but you'll uh, we'll point out exactly where they actually are in a second. Yeah, they are. So there's the brass tube going into the uh, back struts. And where it goes in the transom, I'll point it out there, just there. That's where the water was leaking in. So at high speed, it wouldn't actually leak in there. So not a problem. We decided to continue and go for our first run. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. It's already pulling wheelies. Okay. So it was at this point that the figured out the steering wasn't working as good as I'd like, a bit delayed. I had Expo in, 35% uh, Expo in on the steering, if, if people know what that is. And I'm gonna take that out because it was very delayed. So here we go on another run. So first thoughts, I was very, very nervous. Um, we're running on the small part of the lake up the back's actually the real long section where we'll do the speed runs um, it was it was great to run the first run it ran on rails go straight put the power down that's why I started to get the power down by the way that was only half throttle so when you got the half throttle and around 250 to 280 amps um, pulled the second run we do poke a little bit the boat is a bit all over the place when we steer it. It's just because I was a bit scared to one, hit the reeds, come near anybody, do anything like that. So when I familiarize myself, I'll smoothen out the runs, but you'll see in the second run, again, we snake all over the place. We will go down to the back of the lake, which is much bigger and get some nice straight runs. Um, but you will see second run, I do poke it a little bit. This is just us taking the canopy off after the run. We'll take temperatures. And by the way, it, ended up being cooler than what it was when we started so the cooling is phenomenal on the boat which is just i did not expect i own a few radio controlled boats and they get pretty hot um, once we sit it up there on a high run 
Um, I'm sure it'll start to warm up in a bit, but it came back just off that short run, cooler than what it started. Um, we couldn't get the GPS running, so we couldn't get the speed test. So I just need to see how we can get the GPS to um, punch through the hull because it looks like it can't pick satellites up at the moment. But we'll, we'll overcome that. All teething problems, nothing major. Um, the day was quite good. I'll skip this part. It's just me taking off all the all the screws, tape, and everything to get in there and take temperatures. Um, pretty boring stuff. So we'll skip to the second run. By the way, the video does no justice of the speed this thing's actually doing. It's covering quite a reasonably big lake in no time. We are pretty sure, and a lot of these runs we were doing about 80 to close to 100 kilometers an hour, but the video does not show it. Definitely gonna need the back straight. Second run done, very short. The runs are only very, very short. This is uh, checking all the temperatures after that run. Um, things warmed up very minor, just a couple of degrees from base temperatures. So um, the temperature outside was actually not that cold. It was about 27 degrees Celsius. Um, so it was a, a warmish day with the sun really coming down on the boat. It sat there for a while on the lakeside so i had a chance to warm up but it, it, it didn't and the cooling's unreal so i'm really happy uh we did pull the data and we have promised we're going to share throughout this whole story in this journey we're going to share all the data there's no secrets with this boat we're going to show you everything we've done we're open to questions we're not the professionals in what we you know what these boats and what we do we know a fair bit but we're not you know we can always learn so i'm sure there's people out there to teach us some stuff but we'll share everything we know Every speed run, every little bit of data, we'll post all of that so you guys can see. We, we can see the internet doesn't have much out there um, in regards to these size boats and what they do and how they work and um, what amperage they're pulling and, you know, all the settings for those MGM guys out there want to know all the settings. We're going to show you everything. We're not going to hide a thing. Um, if we can push past 150, we'll do that as well. Um, we'll, we'll see what we can do. But I, I hope you've in, enjoyed this. Um, there's me making a big mistake. There's a blooper for you. I pulled the receiver battery before I disconnected the motors. So uh, we just uh, checked the fail safe on those. They work, they work a treat, but that was a blooper right there. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's an informative video. For some people, it might be a bit boring, but... Um, for some others out there really into these things, you might really enjoy the information flow. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell to keep following the journey of this 150 kilometer an hour boat. In the description below, we'll obviously put all the components and where you can purchase them from. So if you wanna check that out, that'll be in the description. The logging data, I will probably post on Instagram. So if you wanna see, and Facebook. So if you wanna see those logs and the data that came from these runs, they'll be posted on Insta and on Facebook in the future. See you later.